myself professor s prem anand i am working in hindustan college of engineering and technology today we will see the continuation of our previous topics we have discussed in previous uh, what are the formulations of block diagrams today we will see how we will proceed the particular problem so basically i uh, will say uh, the blocks are combined we will say all the blocks are nothing but we cannot see in only in a cascade or only in the parallel it is a combination of all those things so we have seen some eight to nine formulas over there so how we are implement implementing here with respect to the, this reduction the first thing is we have to see everything should be in a, a single single block either i should i should have a one forward block and one feedback i have to visualize this entire picture as one single block with respect to the one feedback if you see here we have three summing point that is with respect to the input r and the output c the first summing point is plus minus we have a feedback as unity feedback system so that is why the line is drawn and second uh, summing point we have h1 should be the feedback and g1 should be the forward path so if you have a forward path in between we have another summing point so we have to you have to interchange this summing point ahead of g2 i may get g1 g2 as a forward path and h1 should be the feedback i can solve it this is the first way and if you see the third summing point i can have g2 and h2 and g3 should be the ahead of this so i may switch over this h1 point should be ahead of g3 so i can i can switch over this h1 should be ahead of g3 so if it is ahead of g3 you know the branch point formula that is h1 divided by g3 that is 1 by g so that is the way you can transverse i can have multiplication of g to g3 and h2 this is one more method so either i can switch over this h1 ahead of g3 the formula the problem is simple or either i can go ahead with respect to the summing point before or behind g1 and interchanging the summing point so the basically i just want to use all the formulas over here so that's why i'm go i'm going to use behind g1 and interchanging of summing points all those should be in keeping mind if you go ahead with this some very simple way you can solve it only keeping the h1 ahead of g3 you don't want to uh, use much formulas only ahead of g1 g3 the h1 is is drawn over here then g2 g3 h2 should be in a single block transfer function and g1 should be in the multiplication of that particular answer and with respect to h1 again we can have a another transfer function formula and the answer with respect to the unity feedback we have another transfer function formula by solving with respect to the three transfer function formula either it is positive or a negative feedback system you can able to solve only the h1 is replaced ahead of g3 but you want to have a clear indications what we are doing is we are implementing all the formulas here so i am going to convert this third summing point is behind g1 can you visualize in the next slide so i am doing is third summing point should be behind g1 so if we go through this we cannot solve again so i have to interchange the second summing point and third summing point should be in the i am interchanging the places so if you interchanging the places i may get g1 g2 h1 as a single block can you visualize here so i have multiplied g1 and g2 first step and again uh, the next step we are going to interchange the summing points so the summing points both are interchanged so we may get the transfer function formula this is positive transfer function you know the formula for positive transfer function is g divided by 1 minus gh so i may get the form answer is g1 g2 divided by 1 minus g1 g2 h1 that should be converted as a single block over here so we'll see in the next slide we'll get g1 g2 divided by 1 minus g1 g2 h here again it's in this first rule in the both are cascade i can multiply g3 g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g2 h1 and again when you look into this the second summing point you may get the negative feedback system so g divided by 1 minus g divided by 1 plus g into the particular h h feedback is h2 divided by g1 that answer should be in replicated in the next slide okay this entire i can i can call it as a unity feedback system so the my h value should be 
so my g value is g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g2 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 so entire g divided by 1 plus g into h is 1 over here so i'll get the final answer so this is the way you can reduce the block diagrams so for to implement all the formulas we have interchanged the summing points but actual cases we don't require such complexity you can simply uh, uh, replacing the h1 branch point ahead of g you can solve it in a simple way also you can go through the some of the examples you can get the some other ideas this is the entire sum so here if you see this uh, black diagrams so only thing is you can see the h2 point so if i go through the h2 point should be ahead of g4 uh, then i will get g1 g4 h1 as a single block so the particular answer with respect to g2 multiplication and h2 as a feedback and there should be the second block so that particular answer into g1 with respect to h1 feedback i will get the third loop so simply i can i can move this h2 block alone with respect to g4 i can solve this second problem you can work it out and you can find the results so this is the answer you will get the same way this is another example i can solve it by yourself if you have any queries you can feel free to contact thank you